All right, so in this video of Salesforce Byte, we'll specifically talk about record ID in Salesforce, which can be either 15 digit or 18 digit, and what's the difference, right? So the 15 digit ID is referenced on the UI and it is visible on the browser. We'll take a look at it how. And it is case sensitive. Whereas the 18 digit version of the same record ID is referenced to the API and it is case insensitive. Okay. Now, for example, this is an 18 digit record ID, right? Let's break it down and understand how this 18 digit ID is created. The very first three digits or characters are basically nothing but the object representation. This represents the object type, right? The next two characters are nothing but the point of development that's that represents the pod where your org is stored in right the very next character is a single digit character and it is kept for any kind of future use or any purpose that might come in the future okay and then the remaining characters for the 15 digit record id represent the actual record that is stored in the database this is the record id and the last three characters for the 18 digit are nothing but the checksum for the first 15 characters okay now let's take a look at the record id in a salesforce org let's see how it looks like let's see some observations right so i'm here on an org right now and let's open for example any account record that we have so if i go to the account list view and if i open test partner account so what i'll notice is this record id right here okay and this is a 15 digit record id let's quickly check so i'll just check string length let's do a character count quickly so this is 15 characters long what you see on the ui or on the browser right and this bit is case sensitive now what if i just change this small a to capital a and try to enter let's see what happens so this is data not available which means this is case sensitive the 15 digit id okay let's click hit enter again with the right one and now let me go ahead and try to reference the same value on the api side so let me do something let's query this out so i'll just say select id from account where name like test partner account right let's try to see what this returns so this returns me an 18 digit id i can check that right away so see this is 15 and this is 18 these three digit extra are the checksum and if i use this checksum on my ui it would be case insensitive and i will be able to reach the same record which concludes that you know the 15 digit version and the 18 digit version point to the same record test partner account right so this is still the same record record that we have opened so the primary differences would be that the 15 digit id is visible on the ui and the browser whereas the 18 digit record id is used for the api side of it the 15 digit id is case sensitive whereas the 18 digit id is not and the other thing to look at is this breakup right here also there's one more interesting thing to note all standard objects that you have would start with the character zero and custom objects won't start with zero so let's take a look at account so this starts with a zero what if i take a look at let's say contacts right or orders opportunities let me just open any any random record from, from the standard objects let's see so if i go to all let's go to opportunities let me just i don't have orders so if i go to opportunity see this starts with a zero what about leads if i open this lead right here this starts with a zero but i have this custom object that scenario tracker right let me take a look at any one of those custom object records so this would start with a1 i believe it starts with a not a1 but yeah it starts with a it does not start with a zero Okay, so that's also an interesting thing to identify whether the object is a standard object or a custom object just by looking at the U, uh, URL or the record ID on, on the URL. Okay, so that was about the two different versions that you have on the record ID, the 15 digit one and the 18 digit one.